more, please. It's an oak door, very nice. Double door with French door. Oh, very good. Does it have windows in it or just a no. Okay. And what does the handle look like? Or handles? Like. Those kinds that you squeeze to open? Oh, very nice, very nice. Now, I want you to look around the edges of the door. Look around the edges of the door. And it's going to start shining, a light coming around the edges. Can you see the light coming around the edges of the door? Very nice. They're going to just, what color is the light coming around the edges of the door? Purple. Oh, beautiful. Very beautiful. The doors are going to open on their own accord. And I want you to tell me if the doors open out towards you or if they open in. And watch the doors open. Ah, oh, very good. So what would you prefer? Would you prefer to go into the door or would you prefer to have your guardian angel come out and meet you? Ah, oh, very good. So the door that's open, is it on your left hand side that opens in or on the, oh, it doesn't matter. They're both open. So let's go ahead and go inside. And once you get inside, tell me what it looks like on the inside of this beautiful space. Bright white light. Oh, nice. And what are you standing on? Okay. Are you floating? As you walked in there, did you feel like you walked in or did you just sort of glide in? Oh, very nice. And I want you to hold your hands up and see what type of form you have. Very nice. That means you're just nothing but energy. Beautiful. And so the bright lights in the room, is are they indistinguishable? Yeah. So does it look like you're in that just that white room like where the shower was? Okay. Speak loud and clear. It's okay. It won't disturb you in any way. There's like something... Black-ish, like wine, like a coloring sheet almost, like it looks uh, kind of moving past the light. And describe it again? It's just like black lines, like a coloring sheet. Ah, oh, excellent. Excellent. I want you to keep watching those black lines, and it's going to make a circle. Tell me when it makes a circle. Oh, very good. Very, very good. And I want you to address that black ball and say, will you please take a form so I may communicate with you, please? And be very polite. 
They love that. Does it take a humanoid form, an outline? Or a silhouette? Loud and clear, it's okay. You won't it won't disturb you. It disappeared. Ah, uh, disappeared. Very good. So you're still in this room just with beautiful white lights, right? The lights are gone. And where are you at now? Oh, very nice. I want you to imagine yourself in a field of beautiful flowers. A field of beautiful flowers. I want you in your mind to think of what a beautiful flower, a field of flowers look like. You may have seen them online, on Facebook, where people put pictures of flowers. And I just want you to imagine this field of flowers and tell me what color the flowers are. Sunflowers. Oh, sunflowers. Very nice. A big field of sunflowers? Yes. Now there's a fence that goes around the entire edge of these sunflowers. Can you see that fence? Yes. Ah, oh, good. And what type of fence is that? Wood fence. Ah, oh, very good. And if you look to your right, you'll see a gate. Tell me when you can see the gate. Ah, oh, good. And I want you to just walk over to the gate and tell me how do you open the gate? What type of latch or whatever does it have? One that you grab with the little lever for your toes. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. And I want you to open up the gate, and then I'd like you to step through the gate, and then close the gate back up, and tell me when you have it secure, the gate secure, and you're standing on the other side. Oh, good. Now, once you turn away from the field, there's going to be a pathway in front of you. So just turn around and tell me what the pathway looks like. Is it a, a, a dirt path? Is it a sidewalk? Is it, you know, Asphalt. Little stones. Oh, good. Sort of like cobbles? Yeah. Oh, perfect. And uh, I want you to go ahead and follow the cobblestone path. It's literally going to take you to um, either a river or a stream or something like that. And just tell me when you get to the water and take your time. Very good. Have you made it to the water? I can see it. I just can't get there. Oh, good. Nice and loud and clear. And what does the water look like? Beautiful. Clear and blue. Oh, nice. And what type of... Is, is it a lake or a stream or a... What, what type of... A river? I, apo I apologize. Could you say that again? A lake. Oh, it's a lake. So it's a beautiful lake, huh? 
If you keep walking along the shore, there's going to be a bridge. So you choose which direction to go. And as you travel down, you will see a bridge. And tell me when you get to the bridge and what the bridge looks like. Oh, good. Does it have a, a roof over it or? No, just logs. Uh, is there a, a, like a fence where you can hold your hands on the side as you walk across it? No. Oh, just flat logs. Okay. Now, I'd like you to go ahead and walk onto the bridge and then look over into the water. You said it was that beautiful blue. Can you look into the water and tell me um, what the water looks like, how deep it is, or whatever. Looking down from the bridge, it's not very deep, like a river underneath it. Okay. You can see through it and see like sand and stones. Still really beautiful water, huh? Yes. Awesome. And let's go ahead and go ahead and continue to walk over the bridge to the other side. And tell me when you get to the other side, um, what's over on the other side of the bridge. Beautiful. How big was the bridge? Pretty big or not that? It's pretty long logs. Okay. So there's a forest ahead of you. Is it a big forest or a small forest? It's huge. Oh, very nice. I want you to go ahead. First of all, I want to make sure you're dressed appropriate, appropriately for walking through the woods. And is there still the cobblestone path there? What's on the other what's on the other side? Is it made of sticks and Oh, okay. Understood. So literally, once you get over to the other side of the bridge, on one side it was cobble, but this side is just like a regular dirt path that goes into the forest. Oh, good. And I want you to look at yourself now. What do you have on your feet? Hiking shoes? Kind of. Oh, good, good, good. That's a good thing. And what what are you wearing? I feel like a leprechaun. Oh, perfect. I feel like animated like a leprechaun. Do you have little buckles on your... Uh... Yeah. Oh, oh, good. Sweet. And I'll hold your hands up and see what your hands look like. They're hairy and green. Oh, perfect. And uh, feel your body. Are you a male or female? Male. Ah, uh, excellent. So, you probably have magical powers, but let's just go ahead and go into the forest. And once you get so far into the forest, there's going to be a mountain. And uh, just tell me when you get to the mountain. And if you will, you can describe everything that you see as you go through the path. Your home may even be in on that path. But just tell me whatever you see on the way through. Well, like I'm climbing up a mountain. Oh. A dirt path. Oh, good, good. Big, tall spruces. Oh, beautiful. And so, after you walked into the uh, forest, and look, you said it looked pretty big. It didn't take long to get to the mountain, huh? I feel like after the bridge, you 
you just kind of walked up this mountain. Oh, okay. Well, I'd like you to just go ahead and go ahead and go to the very top of the mountain. If you're a leprechaun, you might have magic powers and you could be able to fly or you could even call a bird down and it can fly you up to the very top. You make your decision what you like to do and tell me when you get to the top. Ah, oh, excellent. So go ahead and let's run to the top of the mountain. It was like a cartoon. Oh, perfect. You can run fast, huh? Yeah. Is there a little thing of smoke behind you? Yeah, it was like a little dirt path. Oh, good. Awesome. Are you wearing a leprechaun's hat? I think so. Oh, good. When you get to the top of the mountain, there's going to be a pot of gold and a rainbow. And I want you to tell me when you get to that. See it. Oh, good. And how big is the pot of gold? It's pretty big. You know that belongs to you, right? Now, what I'd like you to do is, and what about the rainbow? Yeah, I see it. I don't know where it ends, but I see it. Is it bright? Yeah. And can you see the colors, the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the light blue, the indigo, and violet? Can you see the colors of the rainbow? Yes. Is it beautiful? Yes, it's shimmering. Oh, wow, excellent. Now I want you to take one gold piece. Is there is gold in there, correct? Yes. And you put that one in your pocket because it does belong to you. And then I want you to step into the pot on top of the gold and you're going to take a ride on the rainbow and as soon as you have the uh, the oh actually you know you just need the one it'll get you there and back so do you put the gold in your pocket yeah and go ahead and just describe your clothes what your clothing um, like little black overalls Okay. There's like a big buckle in front. Sweet. And I feel like I have a, my pocket was right on my chest. Oh, good. I put my gold piece on my pocket on my chest. Uh-huh. And I feel like I have facial hair. Very nice. And my ears are kind of pointy. Excellent. Do you have a hat on? Yes. Now, before you uh, let the rainbow carry you away, if you look over to the side on the face of the mountain, you will see a mirror. It's just a reflection, a beautiful reflection. It's somehow in that stone. And I want you to just look at yourself and see what you look like. Ugly. That's okay. I got like ugly yellow teeth. I want I, I want you to smile and wave at yourself in the mirror. I'm not afraid of myself, it's just ugly. <laughs> but you seem happy though, huh? Look at the pot of gold that you have. Yeah. Awesome. I want you to go on the rainbow and let the rainbow pull you. The rainbow is going to take you where you need to go, where you can find all the answers that you need and feel the rainbow pulling you up and you're just rising like a feather. You feel light and airy and you're soaring into the air. I know you can't see where the rainbow goes to, but it's taking you to the perfect place and the perfect time where all your answers can be answered. And what a way to go on the rainbow. That sounds wonderful. Over the rainbow, up the Kundalini. And you're moving and you're gonna get where you're trying to go in the count of five, four, three, halfway there, two, almost there, and one. Where has the rainbow 
brought you. Where did you land? No matter how weird or, or strange it may be, just see, first of all, always look where you landed. You remember the uh, outfit you had on, but just look at the ground and see or whatever is under you, what is under you. On the way on the rainbow, I saw music notes. Oh, beautiful. And then I stopped, but I don't know. I can't see nothing now. Oh, okay. See, I know whenever you see beautiful notes, more than likely you couldn't hear the angels singing as you were rising up. No, I was just too busy laughing. Oh, okay. You're laughing because it was fun, huh? Yeah. Oh, good. So what does it look like? And Well, just look at yourself first. Are you still in your same form? still there that's your way back so don't worry about it so what what do your hands look like now really soft and beautiful oh good and feel your body are you male or female a girl oh good how old do you think you are I feel old but look young oh excellent and what are you wearing? Um, gold shoes, like that strap up my leg. Ah, oh, nice. And what about your your uh, your your clothing? It's like white sheets. Like a, Almost like a tunic, or does your uh, does it come all the way to? Does it go to your knees or to your ankles? To my knees. To your knees. And do you have on a little belt around your waist? Yeah, it's gold. Yeah, I figured. I can see you. And what about your hair? How long is that? It's like a sandy brown. It's pretty long. Like down the middle of your back, maybe a little longer, huh? Yeah. Excellent. And look on your hands, your fingers. Do you have any rings or bracelets or even any necklace on or anything any jewelry at all everything is gold and like a gold ring and a gold bracelet beautiful excellent and someone is coming to meet you someone is coming to greet you and it may look like a light but as the closer they get to you they will form I want you to feel your back to see if you have wings on. To see if you have wings on your body. No. Excellent. So see who's coming forward. Don't be surprised. So like a goldish white light. Beautiful. Excellent. As it gets closer and closer, it will take form. So you may communicate with it. Or with whomever it is. How does the energy feel, male or female? Well, I was getting images of a male face. Oh, good. Very it's good. Very Angelic, I guess. Most definitely. And I'd like you to greet them and tell them who you are. And they'll respond. I want you 
want you to tell them that you are a star from the earth and who ask who they are and receive their information Hercules. Hercules? Excellent. Say, are you the famous Hercules? He showed me his muscles. <laughs> oh, good. Excellent. So I, w I want you to hold your arm out and say, Hercules, will you escort me uh, through this realm and tell me where I am, please? And I want you to tell me what the response is. Especially how he says it, or how it comes to you. Would he be glad to do so? Yeah, he put his arm out and I put my hands through his arm. Very good. And we're walking on the cloud. Perfect. And Star, I'm going to need for you to keep talking to me the entire time. Stay with me. But I think that's amazing. And so you're walking on the clouds with Hercules. And say, what is the name? Ask him, what is the name of this place, please? The land of the gods. Oh, good, good, good. And I want you to tell him, say, Hercules, I'm bilocating from Earth. Do you know that or do you realize that? And say exactly what I said and see what he says. Yes, and he me tighter. Oh, good. So ask him, say sorry, but ask him what is your name? He knows what your name is. Your name is Poseidon? Yeah. Excellent. That's probably why you keep seeing all that beautiful blue water. Do you feel drawn to it when you see it? Yes. Oh, good. And so, Poseidon and Hercules, and obviously you're in female form, so ask him where is he escorting you to? Actually, ask him, could he please escort you to uh, Mount Olympus to meet Zeus? That's where we were going. And you're not telling me. Now, imagine you were doing this session. <laughs> Go ahead and talk to me, young lady. I couldn't figure out what the image was. It was just really big at first, like a shadow. Uh-huh. Like far away. And then he was telling me, right as you said it, that uh. That's where Zeus lives. Perfect. So, you're headed to Mount Olympus to meet Zeus. Is this correct, then? Yes. Oh, good. I'm a little psychic, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now you can actually see and experience it, huh? Yeah. And even in this conversation, it doesn't bother or hurt anything that you're doing. Very good. And I want you to tell me when you get to the gates of this beautiful place. They're tall, like goldish, crystalish. Oh, wow. They're very beautiful. Excellent. They and do they open up for you? Yeah, they will open inside. Oh, good. That means you are welcome in. And Zeus is on like a big Papa's on chair. Like almost like a beanbag, I guess. Oh. Is it a fancy, pretty one? So he's chilling. Is yeah. he on the top of some steps there or whatever? Yeah. He's up some steps and he's just like relaxing. He's kind of... He's got a lot of white hair and he's really muscular, but he's like... 
his face is really like scarred up. Well, he's been, he's done some fighting in his days. How come you didn't tell me about the stairs? I don't know. Okay. I saw them. I can see them. So he's on a big bean bag at the top of the steps. So I want you to go ahead into the top of the steps and I want you to really, um, to be very respectful and like bow your head because the, uh, Poseidon and uh, Zeus, uh, well, if you're a female, are brother and sister. Yeah, you told me I don't have to bow. Oh, very good. And obviously he knows what you're doing as well. With Hank. He wants me to go eat. Oh, good. So is he going to eat with you? Yeah. So let's go ahead with Zeus and Hercules and... Uh, Let's go get something to eat. Let's see what the gods eat. And I want you to tell me what the palace looks like as you walk into the room. Come on, give me as many details as possible, just in case you forget all of this. It's really like, like a courtyard area. Oh, excellent. The walls are really tall and like, Pointy. Like they have a point, and then it droops, and then it points, and then it droops. Almost like a crown, kind of. Oh, okay. And it, is it circular? The courtyard is square. Okay. And there's a big table and lots of people everywhere. And when you and Zeus and Hercules walk in, uh, do they uh, look in your direction? Some of them do, like they're guarding Zeus. And they want to know why I'm there. And then others are just busy trying to get the table filled up. With food? Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. And I want you to tell me, is, does Zeus happen to have his uh, thunderbolt with him? The lightning bolt? It's almost like a trident with the lightning bolt on top instead of the trident part. Okay, and have you seen that the whole time and you still hadn't told me? No, he was sitting at the table waiting for him. Oh, very nice. And you sure that's not your trident? No, he sat down there. Okay, very good. And where do you sit compo compared to where he sits? going to sit on the right side of him. He's sitting at the end of the table. I'm sitting on the right and Hercules is across from me. Oh, very nice. And I want you to uh, look to Hercules and ask, what is your relationship with Hercules since he came to, um, why did he come and pick you up to bring you there? He'll tell you. Get Trent. Is Hercules Trent? Uh, yes. Oh, very good. Very, very good. So now you know what the relationship is. And what about Hercules? Is he anyone? I want you to just look at him and just feel. And if not, just ask Hercules. Who is uh, Zeus in your life? If he is anyone at all. I don't think so. Okay, very good. And what what type of meal is presented? What's the food? Lots of fruits, lots of grapes, lots of uh, meats. Turkeys. Like a pig roast. Oh, excellent. I want you to uh, grab one of the grapes and I want you to taste it and tell me how delicious it is. Very juicy. Made my mouth water. Oh, good, good. 
Once you swallowed it, how do you feel? Did it make your body feel any different? No. Excellent. And what about any drink? Mm. 